uh, welcome to the another session of uh, as we can see that you know uh, we'll be talking about the grade up and today we'll be talking about the ICT and then weightage related to the ICT. See most of the time when we are preparing for any particular examination the first thing that comes to our mind is basically what is the weightage analysis of that. So obviously it's a human nature. So whenever we consider that this subject is having the higher weightage, we will be focusing on those particular subjects. So as if you people are preparing for UPSC, EAC examination. So one of the important topic that you people can have is basically this ICT that is information communication technology. Now, if I will be talking about ICT, the most important thing is basically what will be the weightage analysis. So let's today's topic is related to that only. But before that, let me tell you about myself. My name is Satish Yadav and I'm having more than eight years of experience and I have trained more than one lakh of uh, students and I have taught for more than, you know, uh, three to four years for ICT and I have taken many batches, triple E, EC, civil and mechanical. And my areas of expertise are with respect to the, uh, as you can see that with respect to CAC, discrete mathematics and DBMS, with respect to the EAC, ICT is my, you can say that areas of expertise. Okay. So as we know that the grade up is providing you the large amount of, you can say that uh, the beneficial points. So you can take this opportunity by subscribing on a grade up batch and hence here you can have this the and you can contact on this number that is nothing but 9650052904 why it is necessary or why it is important to go with the grade up because the grade up is giving you the 850 hours of live classes and 8000 practice questions and hundreds of mock tests and you'll be having you know 120 chapter wise notes so these all things are very much important that you people can have it and for 2020, you, we can also providing you the lectures in terms of Hindi. So you can also join and you can take the advantage of that. And yes, for a 23 also, you people can join with our grade up. So you can contact on this number that is 9650052904. Anyhow, let's talk about this ICT. As we know that in UPSC, ESC syllabus, there are majorly with respect to the prelims, we are majorly having 10 different types of subjects. And out of one of the subjects, you will be having this ICT that is information communication technology. Those people who are preparing for ESC as we are talking about four different stream, obviously any students can give the ESC examination, even the CSE student also, but you have to change your stream. So mainly CL, uh, civil, mechanical, EC and triple E. So with respect to the EC, this subject is quite easy because the technological part and then communication part, you know, you can have 30% to 40% of ICT syllabus. You may have covered somewhere in your semester examination, but for civil and mechanical, especially for civil and mechanical, these students will little, they are troubling in order to understand this ICT because civil and mechanical students most of the times see obviously it's a technological you know situation or you can say the technological era is going on so we cannot differentiate that civil or mechanical are not having that technological uh, you know you can say that uh, the knowledge no i'm not saying that my my point is easy people they have already covered you know 30 to 40 percent of ict syllabus in their while studying into the semester but that is not the case with respect to the civil and mechanical so if I will be talking about the weightage analysis in 17, you were having the seven marks, 18, eight marks, 19, 10, and then 20, 11 marks. So if I will be talking about on an average, so ICT on an average, you will have a nine question. That means you will be having 18 marks. So based on the weightage and based on the average mark analysis, you can easily understand that it is one of the important, you can say that it is one of the important uh, topic that you can have into your ESE prelims. Okay, so if I will be talking about this, let's talk about, so okay, this is the weightage analysis. Sir, can you tell me the syllabus? Obviously, maybe you will get a new video where we will be discussing about the syllabus. But right now, we are just talking about what we can say that it is nothing but the weightage analysis. Okay, let's talk about the questions that you people can have. See here, I have taken one question which came in 17, which is nothing but this question is based on the firewall. And most of the times that you people will be knowing that what is a firewall. So suppose let me, if you, if you want me to explain what is a firewall, 
See, in a civil civil engineering concept, the firewall is basically types of bricks which is used to prevent the fire from the outside world to the inside world. The same concept that is also applicable with respect to the computer technology. Firewall is basically a device which is used to you know prevent the outside data or you can say that outside uh, a firewall is basically which is used to prevent the outside data to the inside or malicious data from the outside to the inside as you can see that. Okay, so here you will have a very basic simple concept or you may have also understand this firewall uh, if you have seen any different type of movies uh, in, in, in Hollywood movies or Bollywood movies. The hero, when the hero is trying to contact the, you know, the private server, then he used to say that I cannot access this server because of firewall. So firewall is basically what? Firewall is basically it is used to prevent the unauthorized access from the outside world to uh, in the inside world. So unauthorized access is basically, you know, the key word with respect to the firewall. Okay, let's uh, try to read this question. So I have given, a, you know, very a little bit explanation. So let's try to read this question. The question says that, it controls and monitors the data traffic flow between inside and outside network. Obviously, when it is maintaining the unauthorized access, we can say that it is also maintaining the data traffic. What is the data traffic? Traffic means you are filtering something, right? So when you are not allowing unauthorized access, that means you are filtering. So it is also applicable with respect to data traffic. Second, it protects and secures the inside network from outside network. Yes, this is also true. And then third statement, it can be implemented in software or hardware or combination of both. Yes, many companies, they used to buy a dedicated device, which is called as a firewall. So that is basically the hardware device. And you may have also used the Windows or Mac or any type of operating system. As you can see that, suppose if you are trying to visit some website, then you can see a pop-up window where it has been seen that the firewall is not allowing this website to access your system. So this defines that firewall, it is also in your operating system. So firewall can be applicable into hardware or it can be implemented as a hardware, software or combination of both. Hence, we can say that all the statements are important. So by seeing this type of question, what you can understand or what type of question you can predict. See, so in UPSC, the main important topic is basically what kind of questions you can predict. Suppose if you will become an officer and let's hope for hope for that. Then, if you become an officer, then you should know that what is a firewall because it's a day to day, you know, uh, day to day types of technology, technological world that we are, you know, uh, 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 we are trying to gather it. So, firewall is one important concept that you have to focus while if you are preparing for UPSC civil examination. Okay. And another one is virtual private network. So these all different types of things we will be covering in our classes. So right now it is just a weightage analysis and you can say that the types of questions that we are discussing about it. Okay. Let me talk about what that CDMA means or CDMA stands for. See, this is also a very simple question that UPSC has asked been into the 18 and EC people, if, if they will see this immediately, they will give you the answer. That is nothing but code division, multiple access. Now try to understand. So by seeing this type of question, what will be your prediction? So you can say that the UPSC in ICT, they are also asking for the full form. So whenever you people are preparing with respect to the ICT, you can also go and also try to, you know, understand the full form of that. So this type of questions will, will tell you to, you know, prepare in this manner. Not this is just a one word, the full form they have been asked. Actually, in UPSC, with respect to the ESA examination, it has been seen that two to three times they have asked the full form. This is one example. Other, they have also asked the questions of full form of e-governance schemes. So you can also understand that. So this is the weightage analysis and you can say that this type of questions I have taken. So in the next video, we'll try to give, give you the syllabus, the complete syllabus of ICT. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. And these all are our rankers. And then if you're joining the grade up, we will be giving you the best benefit that will be available into the market. So in order to take the admission, you can contact on this number 9650052904. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day to all of you.